With phones packing in octa-core CPUs and 4K displays, there's only so much a smartphone battery can handle. Now, one way to improve battery life would be to stuff in a bigger battery. However, that's not exactly a solution. Quick charging or fast charging is one such stopgap method that manufacturers are implementing in order to bite time till a new battery technology comes along. So what exactly is quick charging? It's a technology originally developed by Qualcomm, which involves pumping a phone's battery with high power till it reaches to about 50% and then trickle charging it the rest of the way. Now, this technology is also licensed to other OEMs like Asus, Samsung or Motorola to name a few, who then go on to add their own marketing names like say, Turbo Power or Adaptive Fast Charging. Now, even though the names might be different, the underlying technology is essentially the same thing. So technically, you could use a Motorola charger on a Samsung phone and still have quick charging. In order for quick charge to work, you're gonna need two main things. First of all, you'll need a compatible power adapter. And secondly, you'll also need a smartphone with the necessary electrical circuitry on board to deliver that high power to the battery. Now, even though your phone might not be powered by a Qualcomm chipset, it can still support quick charge. Take for example Samsung's Galaxy S6 phones, which is powered by an Exynos chipset. Most current generation smartphones are compatible with Qualcomm's Quick Charge 2.0 technology. These come bundled with a Type A adapter, which is rated at 5, 9 or 12 volts. However, there's also a Type B adapter that's rated at 20 volts. So how exactly is the final power output determined? Now take for instance your typical USB port on your PC. This is rated at 5 volts at 0.5 amperes, which gives you a total power output of around 2.5 watts. Similarly, a Samsung Galaxy Note 4's power adapter is rated at 9 volts at 1.6 amperes, giving you a total power output of 14.4 watts. This is a lot more power than what you would get from a USB port, which is why uh, it's able to charge the phone a lot quicker. Recent USB Type-C smartphones like the Nexus 5X and the Nexus 6P also support fast charging, but via an industry standard rather than Qualcomm's technology. This is why Qualcomm's quick charge adapters might not always work well with these smartphones. This year, we should see smartphones equipped with Qualcomm's quick charge 3.0 technology. Now, this new version allows for faster charging times, but more importantly, it also adds support for granular voltage scaling. Now what this means is your smartphone will be able to ask for the precise amount of power that's needed, thereby avoiding excessive power wastage and unnecessary overheating. So that was a quick rundown of quick charging on smartphones. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to our channel. And you can always follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Gadgets360.